The title of the book is Living in a Land Where No Apples Grow. And as a little girl, I always wanted apples. Apple was my main fruit. And we didn't own an apple tree. We couldn't buy any apples. We had no money. And so there was always, my, my mother went and went to different uh, towns actually to pick apples from under a tree or was able to, and then she brought home suitcases full of apple. And one time she gave me an apple. She said, Crystal, this is almost bigger than your head. And, and I gnawed on that apple for almost the whole, whole day. Bill came around and tried to hunt me down. And I wasn't ready at all to settle down. And then when I heard about Alaska, uh, everything was too much to comprehend. But I said, God, I asked you to bring me to a land, and now I'm here, and I'm going to enjoy it. I have some very serious moments uh, in my book, too. When we started traveling, I didn't really know what to buy for our trip to Alaska. It's a week travel. The worst thing is when I have to give up all my apples at the Canadian border. I could have fallen in with, into the bin with the apples. When I started writing the book, my commitment was for my family to read and experience my experience in Alaska. When I was in Alaska, I enjoyed the scenery, I enjoyed the people, I enjoyed winter. To preach the gospel was my number one. To tell the Indians, the Indians, the Athabascan Indian, about the story of Jesus. I did not know how to make a fire. I did not know how to clean a fish. I did not know how to run a, a uh, an auto order um, snowmobile. Everything I had to learn, somebody asked me, Crystal, could you write a book? I said, I have nothing to write about. And then after my experience in Alaska, I said, I have something to write about. I just wrote what I thought was came in my mind. And I prayed, I said, Lord, give me the wisdom, give me the knowledge, give me the understanding, and uh, that I write the truth, nothing but the truth. Uh, this is the way I finish page by page. If you want to pursue adventure, don't wait, go for it. Because there are so many places, they are so interesting. Some years ago, I was able to sent in for the Dove Award, and uh, they investigated and read my book, actually two of my books, and they were uh, very interested. They have stipulation, like you cannot have cuss words, guns, anything very negative. And they gave me the Dove Award because they enjoyed reading the book. If you're interested in adventure, and if you're interested in buying my book, I would encourage you. You will find tears, laughter, joy in my book. So buy it, you can get it at Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and I have books myself.